So ultimately, we are going to be at the Our House Four Miler at the Hillview Field here in New Providence. But that's coming up around 10 o'clock. Coming up earlier, it's the New Providence Historical Society Craft Fair at the Salt Box Museum, a gem right down the street that's getting uh, both the young and old excited about local history. So I actually hated history for the longest time, but then I moved to New Jersey actually in 2020 and I was just, history becomes so much more real when you're here where it all happened. I think people actually underestimate how old New Providence is. It was founded in 1720. It was originally named Turkey. Uh, because of the abundance of wild turkey in, in, in the area. So, uh, the bird, not the drink. That's right, exactly. All four rooms were moved in 1967. Oh, look, there's Sarah Jane Vignale in 1967, and here I am in 2022 in the very same place. It gives a perspective, at least this building, of what life was like back in the 1800s. They have hundreds of hands-on artifacts here spanning hundreds of years. Oh, and uh, fun fact, you know, people were shorter back then, so I would have uh, fit right in. Adults are fascinated by little intricacies of life, like, wow, that bed is really small. This was considered a big bed 200 years ago. It's a uh, rope bed, and if you ever wonder where the expression sleep tight comes from, it's from one of these. This is a tool they would use to tighten the ropes so you wouldn't hit the ground. Oh, and uh, they didn't use this to make popcorn. They would fill it with hot coals, and then they'd press the sheets and warm things up so you could stay warm at night. I love the stories that happen in the salt box. Hey, let go of my ego. Look at the cool way they made waffles 150 years ago. This was like how you would curl your hair, and I can't imagine doing it that way, but just seeing how much things have changed is just, it's fascinating. Before vacuum cleaners, they would uh, take the rugs out back and use these rug beaters to beat them clean. But uh, Rick has a newfangled Little Wonder vacuum cleaner. How did this work? Well, you put it on the floor where you want to clean and just pull up. <laughs> it was manual. Well, I've always been fascinated with history, and I really, truly believe there's a lot to be learned. Um <laughs> now that's entertainment. Oh, and it's a workout, too. And this is what an SUV looked like a hundred years ago. Uh, no heated seats, but it's got a huge cup holder. So is it safe to say that we have no idea how lucky we are compared to the kind of lives oh, that definitely. they live? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, all the modern appliances. Yeah, everything back then. We got it easy. Definitely. I've been to a lot of museums. It's a small museum, but it's all hands-on. Their craft fair to help support the museum gets underway at 9 o'clock right here on Springfield Avenue. want to thank Craig at uh, Bagel Cafe, delicious stuff, and uh, looking forward to more fun in New Providence later this morning. Cindy, back to you. I loved everything you demonstrated for us. The curling iron was really interesting to me. <laughs> thank you. I like waffles. Oh, I do, too. I do, too. All right, John, thanks.